What's up, fancy beauties and bums? Coming back in, we're going to do a video on some new foundation that I have, and it is drugstore. So, this is HD Flawless Foundation, and it is by Absolute. So, I think I paid, uh, I know it was under $7, and I got this from uh, Local Beauty Supply. So good in Atlanta and I got color fudge so they do have a pretty nice range of colors and I'll try and put that up in the video for you guys somewhere but we're gonna go ahead and test this out and see if you should get it or forget it okay so we're gonna first start off with uh, moisturizing um, the face and I'm going to use something I've been loving lately and this is this product here it's BWC and I picked this up last year um, and I forget what store I was in but it has vitamin C with uh, CoQ10 broad spectrum SPF 17 sunscreen so I like it and the consistency of it is really thick and I'll try and show that to you guys here and I use about this much every day so it's not liquidy at all it's very uh, textured so you don't have to worry about it slipping around or anything like that and then I just take it and put it all over. You guys have been asking me for a um, skincare routine. I have one uh, linked in the description bar for you guys. But I will do another one. Um, not too much has changed, really. I'm a pretty consistent person when it comes to using things if it's working I don't change it so and my routine is not expensive at all um, and I use natural products so yeah so I'm gonna go ahead and pop these brows on real quick So we're pretty much done with the brow, so let's go ahead and do what we came to do today. And that is, see if we can slay this foundation. So I'm just going to wet my, sponge a bit and go in with my powder and I'm using just my regular translucent powder my NYC I don't know how I feel about it so I'm just gonna go ahead and place this powder over my face before I go in If y'all haven't tried this technique, you should really give it a chance. I like it. Now we can go ahead and go in with the foundation. And let 
that is the color of it right there. Hopefully this is my shade. If not, we gotta rock it anyway because I don't have time to change. Yeah, let's just go ahead and go in with this brush. I'm just using a regular Kabuki brush. No smell. kind of see the difference, the color difference there. Okay. And to me, it looks like it's a lot of red in there. So I'm more on the yellow side to me my, my undertones are more on the yellow side but we'll go with it because i told you i ain't got time to change and i'm not doing a whole lot with makeup today it's my friday and um i'm really just testing out the the foundation so and i want this to be my my routine that I do every day so I don't wear eyeshadow to work unless I shoot a video so but this video is not about eyeshadow it's about foundation so we gonna just do it simple all right that is good enough for me and I'm just gonna take some powder, my Fit Me Plus, take this here, and set it. And hopefully this lighting is okay. It looks different to me, but Hopefully it's a different, a better different, okay? <laughs> all right, y'all. So this is all I'm going to do today uh, for right now. And then I will come back and talk to you guys about this um, when I get home. But right now, it feels like on my face doesn't feel like I have makeup on so look like it covered everything that's my gel I did a really bad job with that but anyway like I said it's my Friday um but yeah looks like it covered everything so We'll be back and we'll talk about it later. Y'all have a great day until I get back. Hey, Fancy Beauty Symbols. So it is time to give you my thoughts on this foundation. I have had it on since 10 o'clock. It's now 10 after 10 p.m and your girl has been working hard all day so my thoughts it's not a bad foundation it's not the greatest foundation either uh reason i say that is because right down here when i rub my fingers it i can feel like the product on my fingers if that makes sense 
um, in this area as well and down around here. I'm not sure if it's contributed to the powder that I put underneath and I only use one coat as well and then I put another uh, setting powder on top of that so it could be a combination of everything together uh, the next time I wear it I will test it and see if that could be the cause of it or not and I'll let you guys know about that as well but as far as the coverage is concerned I would say that this is uh, medium to full you probably could build it up but since I only use one coat I really can't uh, give you that information in this video here but I'll update you on that as well so I didn't get any shine there's no you know no shine on the nose um, I normally get shine right up in here which that is kind of protruding through a little bit as well nothing here on the forehead and nothing on the chin area and as you can see here i've got this little pest and i've been trying to get rid of it for like two months or so and it's partly my fault because i keep picking at it but you can see that that's coming through the um, makeup as well i did have my hands and my face kind of on and off today so i could have maybe taking some of the product off my face as well but if you're looking for something you just want to try it out see what it is it would not be a bad decision so I'm not gonna say forget it but if you just totally don't need it and you really just want to come here for the information and you just want to hear about the tea then that's cool too I would say don't get it you don't have to have it and yeah, that's it, you guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. And I'll try and insert some pictures so you guys can see what it looks like on, you know, when you take your pictures or what have you. Other than that, I will see you guys in the next video. And as always, you better stay fancy. And I'll see you soon. Bye, guys.